Good evening everyone, and that is a very bright May. One second, so it's definitely... <sighs> Let me reconfigure the video. That's better. Good evening. How is... Oh god, pretzel rocks bloody things in the chat again. Stupid, stupid pretzel rocks. Good evening, everyone. How is everyone tonight? Uh, hello, Ash. Um, look at him. Squig abuse has been okayed. Hello, X Wing Tavil Wars. Hello, Kay. How are you this evening? Haven't spoke to you in ages. Ages of ages. Uh, hello, Joe, over on Facebook World. Morning, Archdain. Tavern Wars. How is everyone? You are responsible for it as much as everyone else, Ash. You're not going to get away from it that easy. Hey, hello, Alex. I Back background music loud? Let me have a look. Ah, there we go. I've dropped the music a bit. Bearded beast running. <laughs> So that is what we <laughs> what we are painting tonight. I'm pretty much guaranteeing the person respond main person responsible isn't about. I'm just seeing if he's no, he's hiding. <sighs> cool. Hope everything was alright, Archnin. Uh hello Craig. So we've got a couple of things. Uh, I want to finish the big uh, fella on the. Oh, let's go. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. My stream deck's not working because we've re we formatted the PC. So if you see anything that's not working or not wrong, let me know because everything's brand new, everything's flat, and we've started everything again. And things like pretzel rocks. I can't turn pretzel rocks notifications off for some reason. It just doesn't want to turn off. So, uh, painting. And I do apologise for the messy desk. We will have very muted colours uh, as far as some of the stuff goes because this is so, um, so bright. So we have a squig. The squig's going to get the first coat of paint um, after we've had a quick look. I've definitely got the transformer, not the transformer, the not transformer um, to finish. Just need to scrape off some of the muck around the edge. Get some of the windows done, get some of the the visor I want in red um, but I don't know if you can see but we've gone over why is, as I said the camera's not focusing perfectly yet I do need to get the optimum place there we go um, that button doesn't work Lee that button doesn't work so we've gone and got lots of the green and the green now has metallics into it. So I've done a, a dry brush to get some of it. Joe's coming to tell me something's wrong again. What's wrong? Um, has anyone got hissy problems? Um... Has anyone got hissy problems? 
that's yeah, that's coming back through the. I can't hear that. Um. Wow, oh, that can't be picking that up, can it? <clears throat> Is that any better? Yeah, that's Joe's stream. Um, so, testing now. Have we got the hissiness gone? Uh, I've turned the mic sensitivity down. Fans still. Any. So, testing now. Any better? So, I'm going to wait. Obviously, because people need to catch up to where I am on the stream before I answer. So, say one, you can hear it. Okay. Um, I'll turn. Right, okay. And the music should dull it out a little bit. The, the music is there to dull off some of the background. I've just turned it back up. There we go. So, as we were saying, sorry, it, uh, it we do we did understand there was going to be a few teething problems today and tomorrow, getting everything back up and running. Bet you can hear the compressor though. Uh, so yeah, that's where we've got it. We've got the tyres all um, cut in, and I need to touch some of them up where we've caught with the. Uh, dry brush uh, the base got coated in the mud and then washed so some of the mud's gone up the spade and obviously round the bottoms of it where everything's mounding up so I want some tufts on that and hopefully get that one finished tonight he was the one that we finished so he is ready to go um, ravenous so I've got ravenous done and I've got one of the cars done unfortunately so far this week I haven't been doing much painting uh, I've had a little helper over helping me work on the shop and we've got absolute stack of work done on the shop this week uh, I've got the full screen so this one will interest you Ash on the shop we have a new section or we have a couple of new sh sections but one of them's going to really interest you uh, we have started to do 40k spares and age of sigma spares and stuff like that um, there we go <laughs> it's as expensive as you want to make it because it's aimed at people like you yes you were going to bring some over I keep forgetting about that I've still got your prizes as well from the I've still got a lot of people's prizes but we keep getting locked in so I didn't just oh, it's been one of those days Um, basically it's just bits for all at the moment the the link that I've sent you there is bits for the old tanks um, we've got two pages of old tank bits all the metal stuff so far um, this was from a lot that we picked up last year uh, that I hadn't done much with so Ronan's been helping me out we've got an absolute stack of it sorted but the stuff going down the list of the 40k spares that we've sorted out, uh, Sisters of Battle, uh, Adeptus Astartes, uh, Astra Militarum, Death Watch, Harlequins, Infantry, Inquisition, Necrons, Orcs, Space Marine, uh, Xenos, Vehicles, Tau. Ugh, there's Dirty Tau in there, I remembered that now. 
but there is loads over there. Oh, look, look, it was just turned up in the nick of time. Hi, Kinga. <laughs> yes, yes, it has. It's all built. The primer's very, very set and gone hard. And let me put it this way you nearly missed it. So. The other thing tonight. <laughs> yes, Ronan had to touch dirty, dirty towel. I uh, forgot prizes for tonight. We are doing um, three sets of the Star Championship cards. So anyone can enter. Usual thing, tier one, anyone can have. Oh, thank you for the subscription, P Pods. Pod P's even. Half a year. Wow. As I've been doing this six months. Uh, yeah, so. We have the set of. Um, Lieutenant LaHousse, Omega Squadron Expert, and Kylo Rent. They're the Star Championship cards. Every, anyone can enter that one. Uh, that is free to anyone who, as long as they are following and as long as they have the um, Imperial credits. If you are a subscriber, I will also include the Rear Admiral Shiranu card if you win one of the um, prizes tonight. So that's a bonus to your win. And if you donated tonight, we have Kay's very nice new Darth Vader cards. So anyone that donated tonight and wins one of the prizes will get one of them. They are so sweet. So that, that's the usual three tier shenanigans. Um, and we'll do that at half eight. So in the meantime, at the request of Kinga and Ash, we are Tesseract glowing a squig. Now, personally, I wouldn't normally do this, but these two have basically strong-armed me into it again. And then Tesseract is all shaken. And... Uh, I'm sure if I ask uh, Kinga. Okie dokie, Matt. <laughs> it's only green paint. that <laughs> that good one that you made the kids cry <laughs> it's all down to Definitely Ash and definitely Kinga's plans and technically they m they probably didn't hundred percent push this direction, but it's their doing. It's, they started it. Oh, that sounds really bad as a. Could I do a Joker one? What did you break? I can understand computer issues. I've 
let's like say I've formatted well Joe formatted my PC for me this week and we're just starting to get stuff back to some sort of normality it's, but it needed to be done everything was starting to run slow Simon will be fine. Trust everyone needs to trust me and see what it comes out like. It'll be fine. Wow. And he's having a go at me for painting a squid green. And he's doing monstrous things like that. Oh, hands gone into cramp. I do feel like Bean should be watching this. <laughs> it's more like you really wanted to see how this ends up and decided not to peel yourself away from the computer for too long. And ordered a Chinese. <laughs> Hi, Tomo. Just Getting that. We're on the last leg. Oh. <laughs> Look, you're all worried that this is going to go horribly wrong. turn the lights off so that's how it looks <laughs> that's not, not a bad idea <laughs> So obviously he looks a lot brighter than Slimer with legs.
Oh, if they only did a He-Man character that I could do He-Man and Battle Cat. Because Battle Tack was, wasn't Battle Cat orange, uh, orange and green. <laughs> so I'm going to move him to one side for now it's nearly my second pot of uh, Tesseract used so he's up there he's keeping an eye on the viewer numbers so let's get on with Devastroyer very Russian uh, I want the red. Mostly Tesseract with some orange. <laughs> oh, if only I'd ordered three Tesseract cats. Um, battle cats from somewhere. So I'm going for the visor. I'm just going to do a full red visor, but I want it bright silver first. So is it the chrome? Nope, that's aluminium. If I go with bright aluminium, uh, bright chrome to start with. There we go. So metal color chrome. If I do that on the visor first, the red will come through it really nice tried and tested method So the bits of black that I'm going to do that are uh, touch up is going to be in the contrast, uh, black Templar contrast. I'll close that red before I spill it and really cry. things like in I'm turning them upside down just so I can hold them in the vents The good thing with the contrast black is it works like a wash and uh, so it fills the fills the gaps and if you're careful with it you get quite a nice effect of like the radiator grills in there. Same in the radiator grills there. when it finishes and levels out you'll still see some of the metallics through the the actual grill itself so touching the tires in where we 
dry brushed again it doesn't need to be perfect than not might actually put a little bit of mud on them later when I come to do some of the uh, and finish the basin off So the good thing with again using the te uh, the tesseract, I've got it on the bloody brain. Um, with this, it's a lot more controllable than just black paint. You can rub it off if you make a mistake quite quickly. There we go. Obviously, tires have got a lot of silver on down here. So I was on about where you've got the tesseract green on the tire. We can come back later and touch it up with the blacks. You didn't need to be that neat with the tesseract because I knew I was coming back in with the the detail colours. So I try to so I use a cotton bud for them. So again, drop in the black template into the recesses. in there a bit by accident but just a quick rub over the surface quickly and you go back to quite nicely highlighted it's a bit thicker than the wash so it fills when it fills the hole it actually fills it fully so it's got paint in there rather than just a, a wash where the wash is quite see-through this goes quite it's like a very heavy wash as it were so you're just pulling off the raised area Um, no, I'm going to do a bit of testing with Tesseract over silvers and stuff like that. I was going to do it for tonight, but um, as I say, I've had a very, very productive, very busy couple of days. Um, I'll possibly get them set for next week, if possible. Mind you, I have been play. I will hold my hand up as well. Um, through good advice and good instruction, I've also had some lead time of uh, playing World of Tanks. So me, Dead Stay, and probably Ash, who's playing World of Tanks right now. I can see you, Ash. I can sense you playing it. Um, just really enjoying the escape of actually playing World of Tanks. Um, if you, there's been people playing Squadrons a lot. But I just can't get away with it. Uh, I have to be honest. I've played it a couple of times with Jack and them, and 
enjoyed it a little bit. I just it's not a massive draw to me. I've I've got squadrons, mate. We we have been playing it. Um, if you notice, there is a squadrons chat in Protech now. It just how do you put it? I can sugarcoat it as much as I want and say I don't get on with it. Um, I, I am appalling at it. I won't sugarcoat that. Um, as Foxy kept reminding us all through our conversations today, I'm getting old. Uh, so my hand-eye coordination is shocking. Um, slow lumbering tanks is more my thing. Um, but yeah, I just... I struggled with it. All these kids kicking my ass is not the best thing to relax with. Uh, and I just got <sighs> infuriated with it more than anything else. I don't know, we've worked out some of the kinks of what was going wrong and stuff like that. Um... I've got an Xbox controller that I connect to it. Yes, Sarah, I have old man reflexes. Tell them I can go off people very easily. We, we, us old folk have very low tolerance levels. the thing is just remember foxy you'll get to this stage one time and when you do i'll be sat there laughing at you probably probably haunting you because of all of the nasty comments from today <laughs> Uh, I, I did try it on keyboard and mouse as well, Kinger. Um, it's... Yeah. I wasn't too bad on keyboard and mouse. I managed to get a couple of kills, uh, but... The controller was a little bit better, but still not... I don't know. I don't think the game clicked with me, which I don't know, I'm, I'm not a flight simulator person, I thought it would have been different. Sorry if I had that off screen. What I wanted to do is a light blue for the glass. Is that two? No, that's not the right blue. Black blue. So I'm going to use sea blue. Yeah. Uh, I found myself getting more wound up playing it than actually enjoying myself so it's just one of those things it happens um, I went on literally the night that it came out as well and I need a new one of them there was people just spamming 
there was like five of the same class all just spamming the torpedoes and it was like there was nothing you were coming out of the ship and you were dying and I was like okay uh, I think it was a first experience I probably had a bad one but The way we did the fleet battles, um, Jack was usually on, um, Paul and someone else, uh, Andrew Richardson and Dead Stay. We went on and we did the fleet battles, and we were getting better, but it's yeah, it's just hard. It's not. I think they were on again last night, but me and Stay were on. World of Tanks, we're just enjoying World of Tanks more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I understand. Um I'm not new to gaming and I understand that there is competitive people out there, there's people who just want to have fun, it's just not, not my cup of tea, no, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, um, as you said there's some people who are going to love it, some people are going to hate it, I just can't. I'll still go on with me mates and have a bit of a daft laugh. I don't think it'll ever be more than that. Uh, if I get out of level 10, I'd be amazed. So I'm using watered down um, sea blue just to fill out a bit um, of the glass. Putting in more like a wash than a paint. Just to fill the recesses up a bit. second see how he's cooking <sighs> finding bits I've missed Yeah, it's just um, Gale Force 9's tanks. They've reskinned it and threw some of the, the standard tanks that. If they were doing it more in line with tanks, I'd build the tanks I saw it the other day. I do like my tanks. I've got a Panzer up there and a tiger up there that um, 
I've had for a while. And then I've got a load on my shelf behind me that I've never got round to painting properly. Just... I love the German design of tanks. I'm not saying they were good people, I'm just saying they were very nice design tanks. I've also from tanks um, the oh, what's it called the Hellcat I do like the Super Hellcat wouldn't mind getting hold of a model of one of them as well oh I could do a full run of Tesseract tanks I can hear Snowy cursing at me now A little bit of glass to break up the the sea of green. Let's get the red bit done. Advisor on. So I'm going to leave that like that for a little bit. Let's have a look at Squiggy, see how he's doing. If there's anything I can sneak on in there while he's his Tesseract. Hold there. I missed a bit there. Right, I will. I need to do inside his mouth with a pink colour. Now, the colour I was going for was squig pink. Squid, not squig. Um, dread to think of how stuck. Yep, that's stuck. Uh, oh. Oh, cleaner. You just have no faith, Dale. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Jacob. No, I don't have fluorescent pink. Unfortunately, not set up anyway. Um, I think the squig pink with a... Uh, 
Um, Caraberg Crimson uh, wash throughout. Should get it. God, he is bright. So that it's not far off fluorescent pink. So. <laughs> Oh, no buttons. Buttons. See, I'm doing this because I know for fact I'm going to hit T. Finding parts to hold on the squig at the moment is quite interesting. Uh, I think. I don't know if you can see. Hagra. <laughs> So I'm just blowing air through the gums at the moment, just to try and wash out some of the... Right, now I've gone to a very low. See, I've not changed the uh, paint, I've not changed anything. All I've changed is the air pressure. Because now I'm going to try and get the gums and stuff like that without hitting the. just getting the gums it's uh, Bob Smith Industries insta set BSI um, I don't know if it's got uh, BSI-151 it's the stuff I use
So yeah. Hey Jack, how are you doing? So the other thing I want to do in the same sort of pussy old pink is the puss spots. He so says trying to get some of it. So what I'm doing is, if you can see the flush spot. Where I'm starting to do it, I'm letting the overspray spill. So by the time I wash it, it'll have a readiness around the puss. Darker gold, I would possibly. I'd use Retributor because of its the way it covers, but I'd be tempted if you want a dark, dark gold. Possibly, you could try mixing in a little bit of black, uh, but try it on a sprue first because I've never, I've never darkened gold. Um, but you could try a brass into it as well to darken it up a bit to keep the metallic. -y. like a black gold. Uh, I'm tempted to do the eyes in the same colour. Um, you mean spitting? Um, so that's that's how I've got it coming out. If you're getting that's probably exaggerating, like you can't see it. Can you see that? So, what actually can happen is the tip gets, the tip of the airbrush gets paint on it. So when you spray, I know you can't, oh, I'll do it on the, oh, I need my stream deck back. <laughs> so, if I'm painting, So if that's my figure there. Yes, girl, just the tip. So if that's my figure there, I'll not point the airbrush at the figure till I've got the air moving. So point it there, get the air moving, bring the airbrush over to the miniature with the air running through, and then apply the paint
so what you can as I say I tend to clean it off with my finger but it becomes second nature you do you tend to do I do it on the back of my hand so I go onto that and then before I'm finished I let go of the paint and pull it away again the other thing to watch for is <clears throat> the paint that I'm using is Gamer. It's already thinned to the right sort of consistency. If you are going to the to there where I can just see it misting. Um, if you're getting spots when you're doing that, thin your paint a little. Uh, put flow improver in. Once you've got the flow improver in, that helps it. Um, flow through and it doesn't dry on the tip when you get it drying on the tip and building up on the tip it spits uh, it's just a it's no problems yeah um, the other thing to look at is a product from Badger called Needle Juice um, there it is so Renegade needle juice. Uh, probably once a week when I do my cleaning, I'll dip my needle in that. Oh god, we're going to have all kinds of comments from uh, Dale about it. And you let it basically drip dry off, and it coats it. The tip goes um, less susceptible to acrylic paint buildup. So I'm just going over the bits that haven't quite painted fully pink. And that not including the teeth. No problem mate. So let's blow some, just blowing air through now to see if I can accelerate the tesseract drying. So there's some big cuts on the squig in places, uh, one on the chin, um, one a bit further round, and usually I would do pink in them as well. But I'm going to probably use um, the wash. Right, I'm also going to do his ears. Maybe you should clean it. <laughs> um, right I want to do the other postules but not so like these ones but not More as a red saw like that.
Yeah, I know, Jack. It's ridiculous that we have to put up with such a thing. the eyes, the teeth, the mouth, any pustules that I can find, um, cuts I'll get with other stuff and I'll call that finished for the pink. There's a mushroom on his tooth. So that mushroom there is being basically pierced down by the tooth. There's a little skull in there as well. <laughs> Show all class. I um, have to admit it did take some work um, getting it built and getting it... I've lost the... Uh, and getting the joints somewhere near. I've had to Dremel joints and fill um, a few times. Uh, probably not my, not my best experience with a Forge World model, but Forge World I do say that their models need um, hobby skill to to produce uh, to make them. Uh, work now a caraberg crimson <sighs> skulls are easy I'll get the blood down then I'll get the uh, sorry I'll get the not blood, but uh, get the pustule colour down in his mouth first. Oh. 
thing is, King of they're all just here. They're literally at the front of his mouth, which really is easy to get to. So what I need to do now is a bit more control than just jabbing it in there. to admit it is whatever color I'm doing it it is an enjoyable model to paint um, I would be tempted to get another one to paint a red or something like that Uh, it's a Forge World Gigantic Squig, or Gargantuan Squig, one of the two. It's for 40k. He, he is a 40k or Age of Sigmar model. For the um, Goblins and Urks. Goblins and Urks. Right, I'm going to thin... I should have used that one. So, I'm just thinning some Karaberg. Um, I'm going to use... A bit different to normal. I'm actually going to use the airbrush medium with the flow improver in. Well... Technically, Kinger, it's Age of Sigma because it's got a round base. The Fantasy one does actually have a square base. So, with the watered down Karaberg, I'm doing the pustules. Really? Wow. Oh. 
Have I called, caused a uh, Forge World store shortage? And then uh, painted it Tesseract Green. <laughs> I've got hundreds of, hundreds of square bases from the stuff that we've just got in. Um, I just think it'll sell better as Age of, Age of Squigma. A little bit in the ear. So, um, I'm just doing a little bit of a wash that's lighter than the last lighter one. And it's just to pick up this area where we've got the... It is a very, very thin wash. And so it's just to pick up what would be the saw area. I think it's going to thin... I know it looks quite heavy there, but I think it'll thin quite a lot. So I'm going to do that on all of the the pustules that aren't. Um, the big boily eyed versions. You can actually have a bit of a, a darker one. See, it looks ready to pop. And if you use the thick one over bits, pustules like that that I'd missed, they will come out quite strong. Right, I'm also going to do the eyes. But I'll be going back into the eyes with... I want to do the pupils and stuff, so this is just to get the surrounding... Sorry. Yeah, it just depends when the old world stuff actually comes. If. We're listing a lot of our fantasy stuff now with the square bases intact. Um, we've just... Um, let's say we've just got the... Uh, the big lot through that's got quite a lot of square bases. There was a corn demon, the Forge World corn, blood bloodthirster, demon of the yeah the big demony bloodletter thing, bloodthirster. There we go. Yeah, the Bloodthirster of Khan. I agree, Martin. I'm actually quite... quite enjoying it. It's a lovely model. It does take well to the Tesseract, I've got to admit. And I will convince Ash that it is he's not a bad little piggy when he finishes. So we'll let that dry a bit. Let's have a look how uh how big fella's doing over here. There he looks cool. The eyes have gone now I wanted them.
I have another question on the back of that, Ash. What is wrong with the Chaos Gods? Just doing the rim of it in black, because I know how much some people love the black rim on bases. Actually, probably I've got the big oh, stream deck. Um, that's one of the bigger ones I've got. They've got um, smaller ones of that size. I can't see now. I'm going to have five minutes without my glasses on. But well, totally not Transformers in disguise. Nothing raging across the battlefield. So that's not. <laughs> that's that's not that's destroyer um this is ravenous that we did last week let me move squiggy out of the way because he's flaring the camera somewhat there we go so that's ravenous that we did last week they don't transform they just glow green that's quite a good one i could possibly see that happening um we have bought quite a bit of it i think two armies i've got at the moment so actually ravenous can go away the reason is chess that's still to go into place so that goes there oops uh thank you for the donation doom fairies sorry i missed that mate uh, bad me bad so as I say, we did Ravenous. We've done the Lamborghini car because there's all mask stuff in it as well. Mask, um, Night Rider, Fall Guy. There's a DeLorean. There's all of the um, totally not Transformer characters. So I've just started painting through them. So that's the truck from Mask. That's in, a, that's in a really nice metallic blue that I had to play around with on the stream the other day. That's a hover truck, which may be getting the Coca-Cola treatment. Um, I can't at the moment. I can't see because it's either the DeLorean or Mad Max. Um, I think there was a Magnum one, um, but then you've got so there's this one that is totally not. A cassette deck that is called um, Communicator. He has four small robots that aren't cassettes that look very cassette like. If I go for that stream deck once more, I'm going to cry. Um, so these are the little. There's a musician one. Um, 
light show, amplifier, and the drill one. So I'm not saying that these have been in any sort of Transformers, Transformers shows, but they probably have. Um, I think that's the un underwater car from James Bond. There's all sorts. They've took. They've not. I wouldn't say they've took the um, IP. They're pay paying homage to a lot of cars like Knight Rider and stuff like that. It it, it is really nice. Yes, Jack Mask. Didn't you know it was Mask? Mask Crusaders fighting all the time. Working overtime, fighting crime. Blah -de blah. Yeah, mate. They are, if you go and look. Um, Snowy's got them. Uh, Snowy was the one that didn't convince me to buy them, but I saw Snowy's and I really, really wanted the paint. I love painting cars and trucks and stuff like that. Oh, I forgot to do that side of the pustules. Um, but more than likely, if we mention Snowy, he tends to appear. What, what's the command? Wow. If he doesn't come after that, then... Wow, that sounded all kinds of wrong. <laughs> I told you! Every time... Every time we mention... Summoning Snowy appears... in his ear hi snowing That foxy geese, that foxy geese has been having a go at old age people again. I mean, me, but <sighs> right. Some of the pustules have gone a bit horrible, and I don't mean horrible pussy. I mean just they're not quite right. Um. Oh, five minutes till the giveaway. Not to Thank you, Kinga, for uh, <laughs> Snow will know all of the mask type car things. I know we. Mask was the one with the kid on the bike, wasn't he? He had the robot for a bike. Like, moped type bike. Because you love... All of the old cartoony type. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, Ulysses. Um, what was the one with the fiery phoenix in it? Battle of the Planet? Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just blending in some of the pus that looked a bit meh. Yeah, they were good for the time. So that's all metalwork and stuff stuck in him. So, but what I need to do is under his chin is a big cut. So I'm gonna try. I don't think I should have actually mounted this on the base just yet. There we've got it. It's fine. I'm sure I saw there's another one there, yeah. yeah that's definitely going to have I need the metal in there first. There's another one. <laughs> See, I don't think you were all doubting it. Thank you very much, Archnet. I'll oh, two minutes. I know run the uh, giveaway giveaway Yes, Visionaries, that was another one. There was Mask G.I. Joe Transformers all about the same time with the same sort of toys. But what was the British? There was a British G.I. Joe, wasn't there? But there was an oh, Action Man, but there was never a cartoon of it. You and your bloody brave star. Brave star's just Wild West Exodus. I think that is the only bit where I need to do metallics. And I'll let that dry. As I said, I was giving my eyes a rest for a second, wasn't I? So, put the Tesseract away. Uh, tonight's giveaway, I've put them down somewhere, uh, is the usual three tiers. We have the um, Star Championship set, which is Lieutenant the House, Kylo Ren, and Omega Squadron Expert. 
So that's the three giveaway cards for tonight. You get them if you win the raffle. So there is three three sets of each card, uh, three sets of three cards. Um, anyone can enter. It's a hundred credits each, a hundred imperial credits. Um, all you have to be is a follower to get it, uh, to be able within a chance. Anyone who is a subscriber will then also get a subscriber bonus card. So if you win one of the raffles and your subscriber, you get a subscriber bonus, which is the Rear Admiral Shiranu Foil Decimator card. And then on top of that, if you have donated tonight, which we have Ulfric, Doom Fairies, and Archonin at the minute, uh, we will do the Darth Vader um, fully modded lightings, Darth Vader, uh, on top of the other two that you've, or the other ones that you've won. It is very. No, there isn't a maximum to credits. It, and if there is, um, Ulfric hasn't found them yet. So, Wednesday night giveaway. Check the details as usual in case much changed. 20 minutes, permission for everyone. Tier 1 is the followers, tier 2 is for subscribers, and tier 3 is for tonight's subs uh, donators. Um, anyone can enter, but you must be a follower to win. Tickets cost 100, max tickets 10 per user, plus a bonus subscriber ticket. And it is a Spangly Vader. I've only got enough. If people have um, donated tonight, that's the only time that I've got enough to do it for Vader at the moment. Because uh, we only managed to get three off him. Well, we got four, but now maybe he's keeping one for me. Uh, so the giveaway starts now, and we have 20 minutes. So while we have 20 minutes, I'm going to go back through the gallery. Because there was gallery stuff. Where is the gallery stuff? Gallery, gallery, gallery. Yellow. Da, 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 da. Um... Wow, we've got lots to go through. Some of this is just stuff that we've got on the workbench at the moment, so I apologise for that. Um, I think the last thing was Vader from Egan. So, let's go to chatting. Catch you soon, Archnan. I'll let you know if you. Uh, I'll let you know if you uh, win anything, matey. So, Discord. Did it work? No, it didn't. Garage. Yay! So first up, we have an Ash. Um. Ash container, ash container. Uh, move over. Uh, this was done by Ash. Uh, it's an ongoing project. He's been doing graffiti down the sides of a lot of the uh, bits and pieces from the scenery from all um, all the containers and stuff like that. There's various ways you can get. Um, what they're called imperial credits uh yes it is i've got some more pictures in a, a minute of more bits of it on ongoing ash yeah you can accrue um points for raffle i can't remember the oh did you break it ash or did you spell it wrong No. 
No, you can't have more of it. Uh, Check your points, Ash. Let me have a look. Oh, uh, yeah, you've already got 11 tickets, mate. Where did you put tickets? Did you already put it in somewhere? It's gone through. You're on the, you're, you are on the screen. Yeah, I think the... Cloudbot's packed up. I don't know why it's done that. Anyway, I'll see if it comes up in the 16 minutes, because if I start messing around with it now, I will break stuff. So yes, this is Ash's ongoing stuff. Um, Egan printing ghosties. And some sliders for... God, I can't remember what those... I know it's Imperial and Rebel, and um, it's going to be Rebellion. Oh, Outer Rim. I knew it was one of the two. Oh, yeah, there's the job and bounty board underneath. They are cool. I do like Rebellion, but no one will let me use um, my character. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Just the player that. Um, oh, Dr. Aphra is quite interesting. These are some bases done by Dave. He should be really basing them, uh, finishing them off with black rims, and they'd look absolutely amazing. That was one of his corn doggies that he did. Uh, and this is uh, an update on the ash, on the ash can. Some of the corn dogs done by. I still think the 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 rim of the base is the wrong colour, but um, that's a discussion for another day. <laughs> uh, and the, we were talking about some of the some of the bits and pieces we got in. Uh, we got the character three-headed dog from corn. We had some multicoloured uh, horrors. Um, a pretty specific pretty spiffing um, demon prince type thing from Archon Studios I think oh, Archon something like that that was um, Snowy told me who made them that's solid metal as well it's huge and it's metal and it wasn't ripped off um Oh, what's he called? Yeah, it was very heavy metal. Uh, oh, what's he called? He grinds his horns off and eats cats. Or is he friends with cats and stuff like that? Um, Hellboy, that's the one. The, the dogs got me right on my literally right on the tip of my um, finger I used for mouse buttons and every time I press the mouse button, mouse button I can feel where it stuck me one um, oh and there's there's Snowy's Snowy had one as well uh, and then there was some of the original corn blood letters And then a very, very original blood letter. Very, very early stuff. Some of the stuff that we're um, picking out of these boxes are right back to the start of GW days. 
And I think Ronan picked stuff out today that was before then. Um, then we had the Bog Monster. Um, he, he, I can't remember his name. Dave remembered his name. Oh. Yeah, it's a demon, but it's, yeah. From the dawn of gaming. And then one of the doom other uh, chariot things yeah this is from that part that was all from that uh, job lot that came in uh, this is Snowy's Aleph um, he showed us them they're coming on really nicely I do like infinity models I will be looking at getting an infin infinity model on the table and um, getting it underway I do like the infinity stuff things like I don't know if you can see the hex trousers yeah you can the hex trousers and stuff like that are absolutely fantastic um, Steve got his Taskmaster and Punisher done which are looking mighty fine and the rate that he knocks these stuff out is absolutely phenomenal I think he'd had them for about two or three hours from picking them up and they were done. Finished, ready to go. Um, then we found some sort of nurgly type person. Uh, Dan did his phase twos. Dan is literally, these are his second set of miniatures. Um, he did phase ones. <laughs> um... Yeah, so they're coming out absolutely fantastic for, as I say, for Dan who's been painting for what feels like 10 minutes. Then we had, I th uh, was this, uh, yeah, Van Strack, uh, who has a channel as well. If you want to follow Van Strack, he does um, lots of streaming during the day and he does some really cracking work. And obviously he is one of my favorite painters because he's using Tesseract Glow. And if that's not Tesseract Glow, he is not one of my favorite painters anymore. But that's lots of glowing stuff from the uh, the new range of Necrons. Yes, Con, this is on our Discord. Uh, I have a gallery section where Yeah, the bot's not working either. It's not working. Uh, I'll stick an invite. Copy. Um, we have <laughs> Tesseract used probably for a definite Tesseract-y type thing, which was a Hulk. Uh, again, the Tesseract works really well. Uh, and then we did our examples of Tesseract. So we've got the Decimator that was for the charity stream. Uh, we've got... That still haunts the living daylights out of me the way it stares at you. Um, there you go. And then there was some... Af just after I'd washed the resin, uh, there was a picture of what I was possibly going to be doing on the stream to uh, for Snowy. This was testing our new light booth. Light booth, I forgot to order the light booth. Oh, it's gonna be one of them days. Um, which one did you get, Ash? We we happened to find one that is absolutely phenomenal. Um. I've got it set up in the garage. I've still got three hours. Light room. Um, I know it's not cheap, but that's the one that I bought yesterday. And that that's what came out of it. Um, and the, the quality of the light, the, the whole bundle of light... <laughs> this is 
quite big as well. It's probably 20 inches. Yeah, that, this is one of the new ones that's just come out. Um, this was, we were discussing 3D printing and some of the 3D printing art. Yeah, this folds away as well, mate. Mine folds down to a, a little carrier bag thing. That's the one, 20 by 20. Um, so yeah, this is, so it's not my 3D printing, it's just someone else has been 3D printing stuff. Um, there was a, a McFarlane holding a, I thought that was quite cute. Yeah, King, it, we've had them, I cut one up to do a, a display in here. Um, that's someone's other model. Uh, these were quite good fun. They looked great. Uh, I just needed a big one, and then we tried this one today, uh, me and Ron, and tried it, and the quality of the pictures that were coming out of it are absolutely fantastic. They're a lot better than what we've been getting from the, the smaller boxes and stuff like that. Uh, Ash doing some of his uh, Death Guard. I don't know it was uh it was definitely on i've seen the stl to get the banana heads but i've got no idea who came up with the idea the stls are about there all over the place um ash working on it on his extremely bargained um tech marine really really bargain bargain um, Westy, one of our locals, doing uh, Sisters of Battle stuff. I love the uh, the stone effect he's got for the the banner. Uh, and then we had Ash doing his Goff Boys. What green's that, Ash? Looking through my GW. That's Cerebite green. For the hair. The darker green. I like that green. Why do I like that green? Warpstone glow. Aha. Yeah, beat you. Beat you. Uh, here's another one of... Gaz was here. Dawn. Blood. Smileys. The... They are a really cool idea. Yeah, I had a shower earlier, Matt. Can you smell out, Matt? Uh, Mr. Fairbrother's Primaris coming up. Love seeing what Mark's doing. Uh, some update. He updated some of the gold and got more colours in down there. <laughs> oh, am I going to be upset with you, Miss Mr. Wamper? Oh, that is gorgeous, mate. That is phenomenal. Well, I, I obviously I've not. I don't know who you are, Con, but. Um, this picture here is probably one of the proudest moments I could have. Um, about a year ago, Jack came to me um, asking questions about painting, and I sat down with him a year ago and showed him the basics, and then pointed him the right directions of bits and pieces, how to go through stuff, and... Jack has gone from a basic colours and block painter to someone who has absolutely nailed things like the techniques and the colour matches and stuff like that. Uh, absolutely fantastic, that, mate. You should be proud of yourself. Because that is fantastic. Yeah. In, and half of that year was during... A lockdown as well. 
so that's that's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> now he pay for medals of pain. Yeah, um, it also makes me feel proud because uh, I saw him at the start when he first started it, and yeah, the the I'm going to be asking you the questions soon of what colours you did. Yes, and it was a very, very bad lesson to start with because uh, on a half-assed lesson with no... Br okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning, Jack. I can't wait to see the rest of your figures as they come along, mate. I'm going to be absolutely... To say in awe is an understatement. Yeah, I maybe forgot the brushes the first time I arranged a lesson. I, I'm, as Foxy will say, I'm old. I forget things. So that's the other side of Ash. I, I love that worm. The worm is class. Inquisition. You should. There, there's one for you, Ash. Inquisition was here. And this is one of. So Snowy doesn't have many arcs. Uh, and this is one of his. Should you really be showing pictures of your knobs on uh, Discord? And some more boys. It is going to load. There we go. Yeah, Worms the game would be fantastic on it. Um, Kinger. Uh, mounted Grima conversion. Uh, as there's no mounted. Sourman mounted. Needs a touch up. Uh, Dunland Oathmaker, Garol Fine Skin, Dunland Chieftain, Frida, forgotten the whole name, yeah. Dunland Herskals, like bodyguards. So we have. It is a cool conversion. Did you order Build a Pony, by the way, Kinger? I don't like Saruman on a horse. They remind me... All of these remind me of... Oh... Yes. I've got three coming because I want three bills. Um... They remind me of Radagast on a bunny is top tier. There you go, King. There's another one for you. <laughs> Fill a field with bills. Um, they're very much like the Elder Scrolls knights. Reminds me of them. Yeah. That is good. Got the, he's trying to find me the barrel riders, mate. Um, there is a full set of barrel riders available. So let's go and see if this has fixed itself. So the, it has finished. Did it come up that it had finished or not? Right, what I'm going to do is... Right, it has finished. Um, 
da, 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 da. I don't know how to so there's 82 of you that have entered um, So, 82 tickets. So, Foxy made me an amazing Excel file for this that I could just drop all of your names into and run it. But it's on the hard drive that's not connected because we disconnected the hard drive to protect it from getting wiped. Let me just do a notepad just in case things go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, Foxy did it where I could put the name and the number, the name and the number, the name and the number, and it would just pick them randomly. Uh, I just haven't got it set up. I can... do it like this so um, right you can take my word for it because it, it's still working here but what I'm going to do is run it on a video as well so if the gaming ombudsman comes on to me I have um, basically a video that I can share with people later so, our first winner for tonight's draw is... It's going to come up on the big thing anyway. We have Flaky Pastry. It's not come up on the screen. So, yeah, it's come up on my screen. I've got the camera lock. Say hello. Um, so... Well done, Paul. I'm trying to look over the top of the camera so I can... Okay. Okay. I was... It's put your name in there. So I can see your names come up. So I don't know why. Uh, our second winner... I'll work out whether which bits that you get and stuff later. Second winner is... Archnin. So Archnin is a subscriber and a donator, so but he's gone for his lunch. So you would probably be trusting us anyway. And our final winner of the evening is Pod Peas. <laughs> so as I said, this video I will close now, but I've got oh, I'll close that. And we've got a whoop there on the screen. So, and stop that. So, what I'm going to do now, I've got it all. Um, I've got a print screen of it as well, so I can see who won. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, let me just try to kick the cloud bot into some sort of action. Um, 
So I've completed the giveaway. Turned the cloud bot off. I was making an... Um, <laughs> I've just made the poor, poor cloud bot a admin as well and he's not wanting to uh, play. We had this before. This is why we do have backup plans and stuff like that. Um... Someone else do a points check? <laughs> we haven't even got that downloaded yet. No, it's definitely not working then. Alright. Uh, sorry guys. I'm just checking that there's no... There's nothing in there to say that there should be a problem or isn't a problem. <sighs> Not marbles. I haven't got it downloaded yet. Technology is great. Um, but considering what we've done, and I've totally formatted my PC. Or Joe's, Joe totally formatted my PC. I'm actually quite happy that the position we're in. We've got all of the Streamlabs back up and running. We've got all of the technology back up and running. Um, we just need to do some bits and pieces like the marbles um, yes Jack well you don't need a tutorial you just need the paint what colour gem GW do a gemstone set I think it's still available um These, well, my, um, my PC started to get slow. So we, red, blue, yellow. I can do red and blue. Um, so it, it was its yearly um, wiping sort of thing. Uh, where's painting? That one. So we have these, Jack. They are Soulstone Blue. Waystone Green and Spirit Stone Red. And I'm sure Duncan does a um, demo on it. So the other one for it. So there's three in the set. Uh, there's four in the set. You use Stormhorse Silver, which is a really, really or any bright silver will do. If you've got one of the if you've got the chrome, the chrome probably works a little bit better. Um, and then these three are clear. But they go. I decant all my paint into dropper bottles, especially these because they need constant shaking and that. So all my base coats are in droppers. I airbrush. I need I need the droppers, um, and you just peel the sticker off. Yes, it works really well for lenses. Um, I use it, obviously I've used it, I use it for visors and stuff like that when I'm not being as extravagant as using the, uh, what's it called? The Forge World Clears. So basically when you do it, you pull the... I haven't got a gem or I'd show you. You see that? So, if that's the very strange shape gem, you do it all in silver, then you do the full thing in the green, but then you take the brush and you pull it to the top. So this area here has literally goes. It's a okay. It's a shiny potato. Um, so this bottom bit here, the silver shows through, but because you've pulled it up, this looks really bright, shiny um, gemstone, and then the brightness at the bottom gives it the, the glint, like um, Ash was saying about the white dot. So what some people do is, even if if that doesn't work perfectly, then they just 
do a little rub of the silver in the bottom corner as well and that's how you paint a gem potato what's wrong with gem potatoes I'm just Well, guess what? There we go. The bloody thing works again. So if anyone needs to check the points now that... We have had hiccups like this in the past. But I do now know that turning the um, giveaway on and off, uh, the, the cloud bot on and off will bring the, the thing back. So that was a good lesson learned. Blimey heck, Ulfric's got more than me. See if that works. <laughs> so uh, I didn't realise the time. So it's ten past nine. I will um, be calling that a day. We will finish off Squiggy tomorrow. Um, I should have put, got some base. I just need to put some grass on his base now, and he's done. And a quick varnish and glue his chest plate on. And. We will be back at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Yes, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. We'll finish these two. I might have some bits and pieces to finish off. Um, I've still got the... I need to do the canopy and finish off that as well. Um, so let's get some models finished tomorrow. I'm going to be painting all day. So if anyone's around, I'll be in the... Um, discord channel for chats and stuff like we have been today if anyone wants us you know where we are so once again thank you everyone for donating following and subscribing tonight it all helps it allows me to buy stuff to give away like the cards um so all helps please remember to like share subscribe facebook stuff the uh YouTube channel could do with some likes if people were being kind. Um, and other than that, I will catch you all tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Stay safe.